The Shah of Iran shatters the popular conception of the appearance of a Shah of Persia. In the uniform of a Marshal of the Iranian Air Force, he strikes a note of elegance worthy of Savile Row. Welcomed at Buckingham Palace by the King, he's treated to a dress display by the King's Guard. Wearing full dress scarlet and bearskins, the Coldstreams save our reputation in the matter of ceremonial attire. The attire of royalty is the job of Norman Hartnell, of Britain's lead in fashion, he says. Well, I attribute that to the great advance in the quality and the design of British material. Um, let me show you. Well, England, you know, is already famous for its tweeds and cottons, but a production like this, this beautiful satin, which was manufactured outside Edinburgh, is uh, a new production. You see, it's of lovely quality and stands out well, and it fits well. Now look at this, Mr. Smith. This is an example of the type of embroidery we do here. The design is first of all traced out in the gold braid, and after that it's re-encrusted with the diamonds and pearls. The regal touch on beautiful new fabrics brings a high return in less spectacular imports. This matter of elegance touches the royal household again in the person of Mr. Fred Turk. As His Majesty's swan keeper, it's his duty to ensure that the graceful royal swans continue to decorate the Thames rather than fly off to less favoured reservoirs and common duck ponds of their own choosing. Every year he heads a fleet of swan uppers to search the river for the newly hatched cygnets. The job is no easy one. The swan uppers row hundreds of miles and catching the young swans calls for a high degree of skill. Mama Swan is particularly uncooperative in the business and she usually has a better idea of the local waters than the hard-working gentlemen who are chasing her. Patience wins in the end. Mother and offspring are cornered by a group of skiffs and hauled aboard. Although only the signet needs attention, it's healthier to get mother swan aboard as well. The object is to clip the signet's wing so that it can't fly from the reaches of the river. A dab of tar marks the particular bird crown property and the work is done. For the swans, it's an undignified performance but the job maintains that continuity of grace which decorates the Thames. <laughs>